Bonjour everyone. Let's try that again. Bonjour everyone. Uh, this is Paris and the future of France. Thank you for inviting me. My name is Marc from the Ave Chan Initiative, the ACI, and we are the main Ave DAO uh, delegate platform. And our voice is the voice of hundreds of people within the Ave community. And we are also very proud to be the, uh, one of the most active Ave DAO service provider. In 2023, one third of every Ave improvement proposal or AIP has been signed by the Ave Chan Initiative. If you want to support what we did and what we will do together in the future for the future of France, you can do so by delegating to avechan.it. Today, our main thesis will be quite simple, and it all boils down to DAOs should be seen with a mindset that DAOs are not meant to be companies, but DAOs are meant to be states. And what we're gonna see, to, uh, what we're gonna say today is based on our experience, our personal experience, and also the experience of the Ave Chan Initiative and the Ave Protocol for the past three years, as member from day one of the Ave Protocol from the Genesis team, and also as now the uh, main delegate platform of uh, elected by hundreds of people in the community. Some people in the community are saying, and I think it's completely acceptable and uh, a good vision to do things, that governance should be completely skipped. Protocol should have no governance at all and be immutable from day one. But if you want to do that as a builder, you have to cross a very thick and complex wall to cross, and that wall is called, is my protocol perfect and future proof? Because if that not, is not the case, you will need to evolve through soft work, hard fork, or new version of the protocol uh, that uh, will have some consequence to that. What we're going to do uh, today uh, together is, from our experience with the Ave Chan Initiative and what we did uh, at the Ave Protocol, let's see the do and don'ts of the different stage of this healthy maturity decentralization path. Stage one is where everything starts. Is one smart girl or one smart guy in the audience in this room that spent a great week uh, listening to great talks and say to himself who herself, well, I have a good idea that can improve the ecosystem. And that person will jump in a Telegram group, in a Discord server, or in a co-working space and start building upon that ID. This is not the time where you should ask the whole internet if the button should be blue or if the button should be red on the website. It doesn't make sense because the early days require flexibility to find product market fit, to prove to the world that your ID has some added value in the ecosystem. So to have rapid development in interaction, it makes sense that you don't start at a completely decentralized uh, project in terms of decision making. But obviously there's risk if you stay at this stage, the stage one. If the project has a transferable token with so much power in so few hands, it's much easier to rug pull. And we've seen a, a few experiences of that during the last cycle. And also another thing, and let's be completely clear here, if it moves like a company, if it talks like a company, if it smells like a company, well, don't be shocked that some people and some regulator will consider it as a company. So what you can do, and in the ecosystem, we have a like good example of what I've been trying in the last cycle, at least in our opinion, is that you can avoid at this stage to have a token, or if you want a token, you can do it in a non-transferable way. So in that way, you can onboard your community and start to build the foundation of your governance and start to distribute the voting power into more and more ends in a controlled way. And we take the example of Morpho for that. Morpho is a relatively new protocol uh, that is around one year old. And what they decide, they raise money from investors, but they also decide to distribute their governance power to their users through a liquidity mining program. But if you go to on Uniswap, you cannot buy Morpho token. But if you are a user, you can vote, and those 
token have 100% voting power. So it's a good way to onboard and to start to decentralize until you find product market fit. What you should not do at this stage is basically stay there for years and pretend you are decentralized. Because let's face it, no one at stage one is DeFi. You are Dino, decentralized in name only. And if you pretend to be decentralized, that decentralization theater. And we are not here to point fingers and to, uh, to uh, point of a few names. I think you have your own idea of who can fit that description. But what we all know is that there's been many clowns in this circus. Stage two is when your ID start to gain traction and you start to have a community and there's more and more people involved in your protocol, this is the state where that is meant to build the foundation of your DAO. That's where you start to have delegates that participate in your governance and that's where most people are right now. That's also where you define your governance framework and guideline to define all people can participate in your protocol and add value. And when you reach some early product market fit and you have some revenue in your protocol, that's when the first service provider starts to be hired in the, uh, the consequence to have a slow deletion of the Genesis team through the work and the added value of external service provider. So this is the current network of service provider in the Avedao. And the whole objective of that is to say, if any of those guys, and the ACI includes, stop working immediately today, forever, will the protocol still work fine? And on Aave, the answer is yes. And that should be the goal for every DeFi protocol. What you sh but what is important at this stage is to, is to set a culture in your DAO. Because all you define your rules, or you uh, organize your decentralized autonomous organization will define what kind of crowd you attract. And obviously, I'm not here to throw shed, even if it's a part of the game. Uh, obviously, we are grateful of all the contribution of MakerDAO, and I'm a user of DAI. But let's read together MIP 101, at least a part of it, which define, which is like the Maker Improvement Proposal that define the governance framework. And let's try that together. All AVC members then vote to support one or two AVC with the naming right and infrastructure inherited. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, let's not try to do that. Because if your governance guidelines are basically written by lawyers on LSD, that's the kind of crowd you will attract in your DAO. What you want to do is to write simple to follow and inclusive guidelines and framework that will allow anybody that spent two hours in your governance framework to understand how you do a prototype of a governance to add value to your protocol. You want to fight gatekeeping and be welcoming, even if someone is not the best developer, even if someone is not used and spent the past five years in DeFi, if that person has a good idea and can add value, they should have a pathway to add value to your protocol. And with the ACI, we contributed to that with the Skyward program, because we have the firm belief that some people in the world have good ideas, and some people in the world can write good code, but sometimes you are not both at the same time. So what you can do on the AVEDAO is that if you have a good idea and you pass the first step of the governance of AVE, which is the temperature check, we will convert your ID, your English, into code and proposal payload that can be implemented by the protocol. And we will do that for free for everyone and without any kind of limitation. And we can do that because it's an effort in the Aave DAO with the other service provider to make the DAO as inclusive and as possible. And we want to uh, talk about the work of BGD Labs and especially the Aave proposal repo that is an example in our view to make code as accessible as possible to third party contributors. The last thing is that delegate Delegate platform, it's an actual work. And actual work deserves fair compensation. And 
it's good to have, if you want to attract people that are focused on adding value to your protocol, what you want is to give them a fair com uh, compensation. So part of the product market fit of your protocol and the revenue of the protocol should be redirected to those delegates that want to contribute uh, to, to the protocol. And in order to do that, the ACI launched the Orbit program that started to uh, fairly compensate uh, delegate platforms, even if they are competitors to us, uh, in the AVEDAO in order to prepare the grants to what may be one day a program that, funds directly, uh, that is directly funded by the protocol. And if you start to, do have, to have that, you start to create the grounds and the culture of what can be a mature DAO. And a mature DAO is a key to what I will call the representative liquid democracy. What you want in your DAO is elected delegates, people that have been chosen by the community and not nominated by the few. You don't want VC puppets in your DAO. Obviously, VC will have some voting power in your DAO, but you want people that represent the voice of hundreds of people. And at the Avechain Initiative, we are humbled to have almost 350 delegators to our address, because we believe that elected delegates will be rewarded or punished based on results, and not based only on obedience. And second thing is that your protocol should reach the maturity, if you want to be a mature DAO, to have positive cash flow. So what you earn should be more than what you spend with your service provider and your de fair compensation delegate program. Because when you do that, you have the safeness and the soundness and the resilience to make sure that you are building uh, in the future. And I what I will say right now may seem counterintuitive, because I just told you that we should involve people in governance and things like that, and now I will tell you we should vote less. So that seems a bit weird, but what is really important for me to transmit to you is that you should vote on proposals that have governance added value, not on the color of the blue or red button of the website, but things that actually set the direction of the wind for the protocol and have actual added value. And on Aave, we are currently in this process. When you look at the pre uh, precedent for the past three year proposal we had on the Aave DAO, you can clearly see stage one and stage two. Stage one, we don't have that much proposal, and we basically agree as a community with the work of the Aave Genesis team. And stage two, we start to uh, vote on framework, decide, involve the community. But the future for the AVEDAO and the future of a mature protocol will be to have less proposal, but more added value. And those proposals will be on stewards, for example, that we implemented recently, or to, define, to work more on automation of risk parameters and this kind of stuff. So, to conclude, I think protocols should choose the right path. Because we believe that DAOs are not meant to be companies, DAOs are meant to be states. DAOs don't need CEOs. Service providers can have CEOs and they will add value. But DAOs should have multiple leaders, multiple service providers, and redundancy between them for resilience and decentralization. And DAOs should be controlled by delegates, but they are not board members. They are political parties representing the voice of the community. And those political parties' job is to appoint service providers and vote on budget and be sure to be the check and balancing to define what has value to the DAO and the protocol. And if you want to build a company, well, good news, legit company can be built around DAOs as service provider, but under the control of the governance of the protocol. Obviously, that was a huge topic today, and we only had 15 minutes. So if you want to continue the conversation, 
you can scan this and have a link to my uh, socials. And also we wrote three articles on the topic and they are on the link. Thank you very much for your time. And it's always a pleasure to be invited at the HCC and let's work together for the future of France.